Coach is Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so we can let you know when new content's been uploaded. Here we are again. Now the shovel screen, this is when things start getting dual role. So shovel screen is off of our 53. So that whole first half an hour kind of sets the deck for everything else um, next. So shovel screen for us is counter crisscross. So we signal it in and our kids see shovel. We tell our linemen based on how we do our stuff. We tell our linemen that it's crisscross. As far as they're concerned, it's crisscross. But we run 53 away. So he's going to block most dangerous. He's going to block most dangerous. He's running a swing screen. The quarterback is going to read the weak side inside linebacker. He's going to take his chop three drop. If that linebacker sits, then he's going to throw the swing screen. If that linebacker pushes on the swing screen, then he's going to put his foot in the ground and he's going to pitch the ball to the Z up inside on the crisscross. Everything else is normal crisscross um, blocking from that standpoint. So if we are in an empty set, then what we do on shovel is the quarterback is going to look out. He's going to look at his three receivers. If they have two defenders out here, not including the corner, then they've matched numbers. So we know we're going to run the shovel. So he's going to take a chop three drop and just pitch the ball. If they only have one defender out there for R2, they've got just one and then the corner, then we've got numbers. So we call it uncovered and our uncovered rule. And we're just going to rip the ball right now, punch plan and throw it. Here we are on this one. We're in a dose set, two by two set, and we've called shovel. So what we're going to do on this is we are blocking corner. We're blocking man over. This is the next player level two that can't be blocked. It's this player. Okay, so we're going to read him. So on the snap of the ball, he pushes out right now, tracking him. The ball is going on the crisscross. Okay, chop three, boom, there's a left-handed shovel. So he's a right-handed quarterback. He's going to take his normal drop. Okay, normal sideways drop. And then with his near hand, he's just going to give a normal thumbs down option pitch and work the crisscross. Okay, so again, from this view, lineman just know it is crisscross. Quarterback's going to read that backer who is walked out already. He's out of the picture. He pushes out with the foot in the ground, run the crisscross up inside. Okay, another view of it. Again, you start doing the math. He's got the corner. He's got the nickel player. Here's this outside back, inside backer. He's the next player that can't be blocked. Okay. So quarterback's going to take his drop. He blitzes, throw the swing. Okay. And now again, we've got engaged, engaged athlete out in space. Okay. Okay, here we are again, 50, uh, work and shovel. Okay, backer's going to blitz in here. They don't peel with it. Again, initially, what we're saying here is we're going to block here. We're going to be able to block here, so that's the player we're reading. He comes, throw the swing route. We're engaged. Okay, we got to win the block, win the block. No one else is in that quadrant of the field. We're able to get a good play. So again, taking a play we already had like crisscross, linemen already noticed crisscross and started to marry some of these screen concepts. Okay, here we are on a stack alignment. Okay, on a dose right, we're stacked out there. Inside backer is the read. We can block one and two out here. So this inside backer is the read. He stays in, throw the swing. So again, you could run 53, or you could run crisscross, or we slowly started trying to find ways to marry things and give quarterbacks easy reads, easy options to where they had to defend um, the entire field. Okay. Here we are again. We can block the corner. We can block the nickel. Will linebacker is the first player that can't be blocked. He stays inside reading the down block, really disciplined team here. That's crisscross as far as he's concerned. Throw the swing screen. One coaching point, the quarterback has to take his drop. Because you'll see here, this quarterback doesn't take his chop three drop, which would be, you know, retreat, chop, plant. And if you don't take that drop, then the bowing of the back is going to leave it as a lateral. And so he's got to take his drop. Okay, a couple more just on this one. We'll dive into quick screen. 
Okay, here we are again. You start doing the math. Block the corner, block the nickel, read the will. Will stays in, throw the swing. Been a super, uh, super productive play for us. Um, here we are. We're going to block the safety, block the corner, read the defender. Next one that can't be blocked. He jumps out, flip the shovel screen up inside. A little tighter shot of this one. All right. Again, just a couple options. Uh, on that that we find to be helpful. Okay, here we are on the single side. Okay, we're doing it to a single side. So here we're either stalking or running off. So the first player that can't be blocked is this linebacker. And this is where we don't want the quarterback to predetermine. So he just takes the ball and pitches it. Okay, this linebacker right here says he's in here. Go ahead and throw the swing, ball, swing route. Works out for us, but not the right read from a teaching standpoint. Okay, we've got to take our drop, be disciplined with the drop. Give us time to sort it out so we can get it to the right uh, to the right player. Okay, here's an empty look at it. Now on this one, okay, empty. There is no it, the read is pre-snap. They've covered down. They've covered down. Okay, so we know we're going to shovel. So he is going to take his chop three drop and then pitch the ball to the wing. Okay, here he goes. There's he should take a little dummy drop on that one just to get the backers. Okay, eyeballing. But again, if they've walked all their numbers out, and obviously just see by alignment, they've vacated space here. They're relying on this guy to still fold back in. Keep that thing nice and tight and vertical on the crisscross. Okay, end zone shot of it. And what we're looking at with a look sequence here is, yep, we've got a B-gap exposed here. How do we get to that B-gap? Let's get to it with crisscross. Coaches Rick Stewart with AllAccessCoaching.com. I really hope this video helps make you a better coach. Make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below so we can let you know when new content becomes available because we're all about coaches helping coaches. And remember, coach, better today, never as good as tomorrow.